But moving on to topic number four tonight, and that's Justin Fields to the Bears. And the Bears moved up. They were, I believe, 20th pick overall or in the 20s. And they moved up and traded a few assets to jump up to, I believe, 12th overall to draft Justin Fields and to get their quarterback of the future. And we were watching the draft live. And when I saw the Bears had traded up, I just had a four-letter expletive that I sent to producer Ben and Pat um, that I can't repeat on here. But we knew that it was Fields when they were moving up. Yeah, yeah. You know, as Patriots fans, we were like, we saw Fields drop, and, and then he gets past 10. And then, you know, the Eagles trade up to 10 and take Devontae Smith. So you're like, he's going to drop even more. Maybe he's going to drop to 15, or maybe the Patriots only have to go up a couple of spots. And then the Bears swoop right in and, and get the pick at 11 and then take Fields. Uh, I think it was a great move by the Bears, you know. They traded up to get Mitch Trubisky, and I remember them doing that and being like, you traded up to take who? <laughs> Mitch Trubisky? When Deshaun Watson's sitting there and then even Pat Mahomes, we didn't know Pat Mahomes was going to be that good. But I, I remember saying, like, why would you – if you're going to trade up for a quarterback, why would you trade up for Watson? But they traded up for Justin Fields. Um, there's been – for some reason, Fields d- dropped, and I, I still can't quite figure it out. I know the way that he played in Ohio State wasn't the quick-hitting – you know, make quick decisions offense that a lot of NFL teams use, including the Patriots, the Saints, and so forth. Um, But this kid is just a good football player. We saw his toughness against Clemson in the playoff game. Um, He's played big in big games. You know, he had two tough games this year against Indiana and Northwestern. uh, But who hasn't had tough games during during their college football career, especially when you're at such a good, you know, big-time program like Ohio State? Um, So the Bears – they actually traded up. They traded this year's 20th pick overall. They traded their first-round pick next season they, in 2022. They traded their fifth-round pick in 2021. They traded their fourth-round pick in 2022. That's a lot to move up nine spots. Um, but I, I think it makes total sense for the Bears, and I, I think this is a home run for them. Um, I'm sure Bears fans are, like, freaking out because, they, you know, the Bears fans keep saying, we haven't had a great quarterback, you know, since Jim McMahon. You know, and it's like, really? If that's the case, then why not trade up for a guy like this who drops in the draft? Yeah, and that's the thing for anybody that's saying like, oh, man, we gave up a lot. You really didn't if you're getting a franchise quarterback in return. And we've always said, you know, a lot of these draft picks may not even pan out, especially once you're getting to third, fourth, fifth and sixth round picks. You really never know what you're getting with them. So to be able to trade up and move a couple of those later round picks for your arguably your franchise quarterback for the next 10 to 12 years. I mean, that's what you want to do. So I think this was the right move for the Bears. Like I said, I was disappointed. I knew it was going to be Fields right away. They cut to Fields' camera, and he was off the camera. And I said, oh, no, he's on the phone. Everybody knows he's on the phone. He was getting the call from the Bears saying, you are our pick. And sure enough, he comes back in the camera, and then they read the pick off that the Bears are taking him. So it was one of those things where I knew it was happening live, but I was just so disappointed because I wanted to see this guy just drop a couple more to the Patriots. And I I honestly think if the Patriots had a choice there and Mac Jones was on the board and Fields was on the board at 15, I think they would have took Fields over Mac Jones. But obviously Fields went off the board. So then they went with their next guy who was Mac Jones. And they obviously the Patriots are happy to have Mac Jones. And we'll talk about that next. But I, I think Fields is arguably the best player in this draft, right? I had him going number two to the Jets in our mark draft because I feel like after Trevor Lawrence, this was the guy. He was the best player in the draft along with Kyle Pitts. So I think the Bears have got their quarterback of the future. And and yeah, you might say, honestly, this guy's better than Jim McMahon, definitely better than Mitch Trubisky, which they've obviously found that out. And how poor that was to trade up then. And like you said, pass up on arguably two Hall of Fame quarterbacks and Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. Um, but I think that was one of those things where good for them, lesson learned, because they didn't do it again. They moved up this time and got a good quarterback, someone that I think you can rely on. And like I said, if we're a betting man and I'm a betting man, if we're going to bet money on a guy being good, I'm going to bet money on Justin Fields being good, played against great competition. And I think one of the things that people are questioning is obviously his time at Georgia and how he felt like he needed to leave that program and move on to another program. So people I think were questioning, did he want to compete for the competition and compete for the job at Georgia? 
Um, so it, it could be that that's why he dropped down people's boards a little bit. But I don't know why he would, honestly, because when you look at what he put on film and really like all the stuff that he even put on paper, this guy is easily a first round pick that you can rely on for years to come. And when you look at, at the game where he went up against the number one overall pick, Trevor Lawrence, he arguably played just as good, if not better than Trevor Lawrence in that game. So I think that proves just how good of a player he is. And I think the Bears definitely got their quarterback going forward, you know, and excited to see what he can do. I wish it was in a Patriots uniform, but I'm definitely still going to be excited to see what he can do uh, in the NFL going forward. Yeah, no question. I think he, he's just a good football player. You know, we, again, I mentioned that you know he broke the rib against Clemson. You see him come back in the game. Um, just a tough player. You know, I – I think he should have gone two to the Jets. I don't, I, I'm not really sure. I know, you know, Zach Wilson has the Aaron Rodgers sort of pedigree as far as the way he can twist and his torque and the way he can throw the ball and he can fling the ball down the field. And I just think if you're looking to change the culture with the Jets and you're looking to bring in a quarterback who's the general on the field who, you know, is going to get hit and then keep on playing, you know, I think Fields should have been the guy for them. So that that's where I, I – you know, think that the, the rubber met the road there. Um, I understand why the 49ers didn't take him because I think they just think Lance is a higher ceiling and they still have a quarterback there that's competent where they can wait a little bit on Lance. 